warm welcome on behalf of Marble Center International. My name is Jay Kumar Niranjan. I am the Vice President taking care of the business development of our company. My special re respects to all the senior architects who are here, whose contribution to the society definitely is very valuable. I'm sure it, it has made this world a better place for us to live. Now, before talking about my brand, I would like to kind of interact with you a little bit about this material. I mean the stones. I'm very delighted to talk about this stone, more so because I'm going to interact with the creators who are here about one of the most wonderful creations of the Almighty. Yes. Now, talking about the stone, it's such a wonderful material. I consider it one of the most wonderful creations because it is so beautiful in the first place so versatile it is like you know it offers wide range of colors it offers you wide range of patterns and the kind of transformation that this material can do to your interiors i did not tell you it is so immense and i don't i can't think of any material manufactured material that can be even parallel to this. Because when it is manufactured material, there is a limit to it, be it colors, be it patterns, you know, be it uh, what you call uh, the inconsistency that it gives, and it is never stopping. Like it's not, you know, we are, I don't think, you know, anybody can see an end to this material. It keeps coming, nature keeps giving us wonderful colors, wonderful textures. It's so immense. And as we all know, this is one material which comes next to the walls in any building in terms of volume. So that is the kind of importance it has, this material has. Now I think I'll move to the, my brand part. MCI is the name of our brand and uh, we have been in the field for close to four decades now. And uh, in terms of positioning, we easily come in the top four, play, four marble players in the country. That is, when you compare us with others in all other aspects, but when it comes to quality, without a doubt, we stand tall. We are the pioneers and our quality is much, much superior compared to others. I'll justify my statement. I say we are superior to others because MCI is the only brand in the entire country to import marble in the form of finished slabs. We don't get marble in the form of blocks and we don't cut and process them here. Our brand is the only brand we get marble, you know, in the finished forms. It is, it, is, it is fully finished. As a matter of fact, it comes very well packed like a glassware in the container. All that we do is open it and put it for display. There is absolutely nothing that we do domestically. So you may wonder why we are not following others' path and why we are able to, uh, why we do this, why we have chosen to go, go this way. One of the most important reasons why we are doing it this way is because we want to give our architects, give our consumers, consumers give our clients products that are of international standard. So if I have to give you product of international standard, it's very simple. 
whether it is sourcing or cutting or processing, all these things are, should also be of that standard. And as a matter of fact, what is kind of followed as a process here and what gets followed back in the source, there is a world of difference. It's not as if you know that cannot be done here, but for some reason it is not practiced here. Now, here most importantly, when I said MCI is 40 years old, rather we have been in the field for 40 years, unlike all the, pro all the pro products that you witnessed earlier in the, in, uh, in the presentation, this is not manufactured. This is something that we get from nature. So it's very important we should have a proper understanding about the material, not only about the material, what is the, part, what is, what is the treatment requirements of a particular material. Here in, in, my, in our business, experience really matters because more than knowing where to buy the, source the material from, you should know where not to source the material from. So, with our 40 years of experience, we know the quarries very well. We source it from the right places. And second thing is, we are, for, for our sourcing, for our uh, cutting, processing, everything, we are depending on the pioneers. As we all know, that we are dependent on the Italians and Turks, you know, who have their knowledge or their understanding or their expertise about this material is very vast, vastly superior compared to our understanding. So we are dependent on them to do the sourcing for us, to do the cutting for us, to do the processing. Now I will quickly take two more minutes to explain to you about at least the major differences that are involved between our processing and what is followed internationally. Most importantly, the biggest difference is we use technology in sourcing. We engage something like scanners to understand the real quality of the material. Why we do this is because we are very cautious we only want to choose the right kind of material and spend our money on cutting and processing. We don't want to spend our money on the wrong material because if I spend the wrong, my, my money on the wrong material, it cannot be loaded in the container, it's a waste of money. Therefore, we are doubly, doubly careful about choosing our material. That's number one. Number two, we start with something called, I, I think, before going to that, I want you to know the kind of machines, the kind of consumables that are used here, most importantly the machines that are used for processing are very sophisticated, sophisticated and technologically very advanced. That's what gives us the output. The output, we, the kind of output that we get largely depends on the know-how, machine, consumables. We are very, very clear about all this. Now, here, as you must have known, people start with cutting the blocks. We don't start with cutting. We do something called strengthening before cutting the blocks. If you don't do this, if you skip this step, you may kind of face with problems like, you know, the, the marble coming in the form of powder, and so on and so forth, all, all quality related issues. Second is the cutting. In my marble, if you are seeing is believing, when you come to my yard, we have kept a huge stock. At any given point of time, we have about 25 lakh to 35, 30 lakh square feet of marble kept. You will find all my slabs are straight. You will not see the waviness. This is, I'm sure this is very familiar. I'm sure you're, you must be very familiar with this. Because this waviness, when you watch the marble, opposite, standing opposite to the sun hitting the floor, 
there is a superficial kind of waves or whatever undulation that is seen. This is basically because of the thickness of the tool that is used for cutting. When you use the wrong tool, and if you want more recovery from a block, and if your concern is more on the number of slabs that you get out of a block, this happens. But we are not concerned about it. We are more concerned about the quality part. Therefore, you know, in our marble, you will not see the waviness because we use the appropriate the, the tool that is of appropriate thickness. Next, after the cutting, it come the some. This is the most important uh, procedure of the process. After the cutting is done, here we use epoxy for filling. We don't use acrylic, which is a cheaper alternative. If we use acrylic, again, it starts throwing powder. Another thing is, the places where people have applied acrylic, which is one-tenth the cost of epoxy, it will start becoming patchy. Like, the best example is your mobile cover. You buy a transparent cover today. As it ages, it starts becoming pale. So when you use acrylic, which is not the right kind of material, as it starts aging, it will start becoming yellow. The patches, the yellow patches or the pale yellow patches will start becoming obvious, which you will not find in our product. And the next thing is, as I told you, the understanding about the stone here is very limited. Therefore, people imagine for all stones that are available, there is, and the, they understand that the treatment requirement is also the same, which is totally wrong. The treatment demand or the, the, uh, the filling demand of each stone is different depending, depending on the physical properties of the stone. Since we are getting it done with the right kind of people who have very good understanding about the material, sometimes it is layered once, sometimes twice, sometimes thrice. So this is, people here, they don't know about this. They go about doing it the same way for all the stones. The second thing is, my stone, when you use, you can use it even in high traffic areas without any issues. What I mean is, high traffic, when I say high traffic, one thing is the movement, people movement or the, the traffic. Second thing is the number of times it gets mopped. If a stone has to withstand or if the stone has to survive this kind of a condition, after the, after the epoxy is applied, it has to be put in the oven, which most of them don't do. I can tell you with 100% confidence, if you use my product, you don't have to worry about this aspect. And last but not the least, yes, yes, yes. Now, the last thing is the polishing. When it comes to polishing, here, as you know, if it's a bundle of, you're looking at a bundle of 25 stones, only the first stone is kept polished. The remaining, it's not polished. MCI is the only brand. When you come to our yard, if, it's a, if you're looking at a bundle of 25 stones, all those 25 stones are polished. Which means, you know, we do this because we want to know what we are buying. We want the client to know what they are paying for. There is absolute 100% clarity. You know, when you look at a look at a stone that is not polished, you're only looking at a very obscured version of the stone. Here in our case, every stone is polished. You can be very sure about it. Third important reason why we are getting it this way is because when you want, as architects, if you want to do butch, I mean book matching, with 100% one, with accuracy, with 1mm accuracy, you can do the book matching because the grains are so visible. I hope you understand this. Now, I think this is, this is and apart from this, what way MCI is, I mean, different from others, different from the market, is about, is the fact that MCI, in MCI we have calibrated 20 mm slabs. We don't keep 18 mm, we don't keep 16 mm. It's calibrated 20 mm. It's 20 mm all over the place. So these are the things, you know, these are the advantages of uh, 
buying your material from MCI. Now I think you, I've been asked to kind of cut it short. One more reason I'm here is to invite you all to our experience center. It is a 30,000 square feet experience center designed by Warner Wong Design of Singapore. And uh, we have a, what you call studio space. And as you know, experience center is not so very common in stone industry. We have one of the very good experience center in the country. And it has kind of, it has been given a lot of good awards also for the way it is done. And when, the, when people visit the experience center, they walk out with a lot of satisfaction that they've seen a great place and it also helped them gain fantastic understanding about the product, fantastic about understanding about how a good interior can be done with using good quality marble. So I think, you know, the time is, I have so much more to share. For lack of time, I would like to kind of wind up here. Thank you very much for your time. Enjoy your evening, thank you.